open up a can of old Milwaukee Drink the whole thing down until it's gone And hope that it will turn into some strange symbol Of a place to be and a woman that I love My name is Phil Pike, I'm from Grand Rapids, Michigan And I'm also from Lincoln, Maine And I uh, make music I like to refer to as Haunted Americana and that it definitely has a folk uh, country sound, uh, but it is heavily influenced by horror movies, horror books, a lot of Stephen King. But I also like to have a sense of humor, and one of my favorite artists of all time is Weird Al. So I really like to do the one-man band stuff, and it, I play, this is actually a replacement while I wait for Farmer Foot Drums to build my new drum set, but I've been playing a backbeat from them for years. But I really like that. That changed my approach to music. Songwriting will always be the, the thing that I like the best. Um, it, it, I wouldn't say it comes naturally, but I don't have writer's block a whole lot or anything, and I've learned a few tricks to avoid writer's block. And um, actually, I think writer's block is the greatest possible gift you can have, because basically what it means is that a, one of your wells has dried up, but the exciting is is that there's infinite wells inside of you. So when I started get writing sad bastard music and then one day could not write anymore, I started writing songs about like werewolves and, and women who are living on a, a post-apocalyptic earth. Songwriting is my favorite thing to do and I would say the biggest difference between the stuff I'm working on now and was is that, like I said, I uh, have always read a lot of Stephen King but have been really reading him and uh, Stranger Things and all these great kind of uh, 80s like horror satanic type stories and I've been incorporating that into songwriting. Uh, but I think it's best to write quickly. Uh, and that's another thing I learned from punk music is don't fret about it too much. Uh, I was able to put out uh, four albums this year. Uh, one of them was a covers album of heavy metal songs. The rest were all original ones. Give her the name called Wendy Carraway. songwriting they usually talk about favorite artists but I found a lot of inspiration in TV shows in part because they're short and songs I think are at their best when they're short you can combine a lot of big ideas and interesting characters into a just three minute frame I know TV shows are like 30 minutes but compared to like a movie you know uh, so I found that to be very inspiring to write short concise my last album was a three-part series called love in the time of satanic panic which is supposed to be essentially a, a love story meets a horror story um, so, so kind of like Stephen King meets Town Van Zant is what I'm going for, uh, with a little bit more punk influence. And uh, so, as you look through my catalog, you'll find a lot of really pretty love songs, and I do like to do those. Uh, and I'm still going to do that. However, for instance, I got a song that starts as a pretty love song, and then it turns out she's just seducing the guy to murder him. Uh, and another one, it's uh, you know a love story, but it turns out the girl is a ghost. So, kind of turning things on their head. And, and, and beating people's expectations. Alright, ready? I got into some of the Kill Rockstar stuff, like Beat Happening, which was like punk in aesthetic, and the do-it-yourself thing, which is really important, and I still try to do, which is do all your own promotion, and do as much of uh, of your own signs and things like that and booking. So that I learned that from like reading about Kill Rock stars. And lately, I've been reading a lot more than, than listening, I guess. So I've been getting back into Stephen King. I'm from near Bangor, Maine, so he's got a pretty big uh, mythos from where I'm from. But a lot of my new lyrics have been inspired by him. I write a lot of songs lately about horror and stuff, like the werewolf song or the girl who walks around hell and then a, a charred earth. So those would be the biggest influences. John Prine, of course, Springsteen, and uh, a lot of female singers that I really like, like Belinda Carlisle, really like Miley Cyrus, uh, Mariah Carey, in part because I can't sing their range, but I can sing along with them pretty well, and that has helped me to become a better singer, I think. And uh, you can find me at stovepipemusic.com. You can also find me at stovepipesoaps.net, where I make musical bars of soap, and I play wherever people will have me, so if you are anywhere, please book me. She laughs like angels waiting in a bedroom She curses like a sailor on the sea